it's Aubrey if you guys are new here hi and welcome today we are gonna do a living room style with me or decorate but I hope you guys are all doing well and I'm so excited for this video I've been waiting for like a handful of things to come in the mail everything has finally arrived but I also wanted to like do a little DIY project on our fireplace before I felt like I could really decorate our living room so over the weekend we finally were able to knock out our DIY fireplace project I did share a little short here on YouTube already have seen that then you already know what it's gonna look like but for those of you who haven't I'm gonna show you guys what we ended up doing to our fireplace over the weekend for our living room, I really wanted it to feel warm and cozy, but still light and bright. And I felt like our fireplace definitely needed some color to it. So I actually found this idea about adding some panels to just the upper portion of our fireplace. We went to Home Depot, we got these five and a half inch wide panels or half inch deep and we ended up using these little one-fourth tile spacers that ended up doubling up as well so we used two one-fourth spacers in between the panels for our spacing and it ended up turning out extremely good i'm very happy with the result this took us about three days our total cost was around 500 dollars, only because we had to buy two different sets of tools that we did not have on hand. We ended up buying a table saw and a jigsaw um, just to do those cutouts around our outlets, but we ended up just wiping them down, filling in our brad nailing holes. We, this brad nailer came in handy. We've had this for a long time, and this is like my go-to tool for doing any type of paneling to walls. So we ended up adding trim pieces on top and on the bottom of the paneling to just really finish it off for when we go to paint. And then push that corner up high and tight. Okay. Nice. Sweet. High five. Ah. Ah. That's my gut. Thank y'all. After taping off our surround, we're gonna get ready to paint. I just use this drop cloth around the lower portion of our fireplace. This is our paint color that I chose from Home Depot. This is by the brand Bear. And the color is Little Black Dress. It's this really rich, dark black, but actually it has a nice blue undertone. The colors in it are blue, black, green, and gold. So I thought that would be a really nice hue, especially how the natural light hits our fireplace. So this color worked out really good and I actually ended up adding about three coats to our fireplace surround. Okay, so that's how our fireplace turned out. Without further ado, let's start decorating. I partnered up with Castlery for my new living room furniture, which I am so excited for. They have beautiful, modern, timeless furniture pieces for every room of your house. So for my home, I selected their Hamilton Chase sectional in the color bright white. Nice. Kind of fun we have a sectional in the living room. Oh. What do you think? I picked their right facing orientation for this sectional because I wanted a really nice clear walkway into our living room. The couch also comes with these removable pillows and also just a few accent pillows that you can keep or also swap out for different ones. Oh. So now that we have our sectional unboxed from Castlery, I wanted to obviously start adding in some nice warm colors to our living room. So I grabbed this nine by 12 area rug. It's perfect colors in it. I love that it's gonna also make our new sectional pop and it's gonna add a lot of warmth to our living room space. Over here in the corner, I did wanna add our fiddle tree that I have been trying to grow and it's still alive and still kicking. So I wanted to actually put it right here where the windows are. It's gonna get a ton of great natural light. Okay, you are gonna go right. Whoops, you're looking a little crooked. Okay. A little dirty. Spruce it up. You 
I'm so pretty. So this is how the sectional looks now that it's finally placed on the rug and it's a right position. I love it. I love how clean, light, and bright it is. So I just decorated up uh, the side of the sectional with a side table, a nice lamp where you can turn it on for nighttime. And then also I just added some throw pillows that I had on hand from around my house. These ones have actually just been sitting in my storage for a little bit until I had a beautiful sofa to put them on. So I just pulled some colors out from the rug that I wanted to just kind of bring up to the sofa since it is so beautiful, it's light and bright. I wanted to just kind of warm it up a little bit. For the back of the sofa, I actually had this idea of just grabbing an oversized throw blanket and tucking it in to the back of the couch. Since our couch backs our dining room, I just know our couch is going to get some handprints from our three little kids. So I figured I'd try to save this couch from those handprints, at least try my best, and put this beautiful throw and just kind of like tuck it in the back of the sofa. I like this for a lot of reasons. It's gonna help keep my kids' dirty hands when they're not washed off of the couch, but also I love that way the throw kind of softens the white bright couch as well, and it just helps kind of transition the colors from my living room to my dining room. For our fireplace, I want to kind of keep the decor a little bit more on the simple side. So I just found this really beautiful tall mirror. I love the wood coloring of it. It also really pops against the new paint color on our fireplace. And then I'm just going to dress it up with this awesome horse head statue from Home Goods. I got it a couple years ago now, but I love it and I still have it on hand. I'm going to add just a little framed piece of artwork and then just to finish off the fireplace I just have these three tall candlesticks that I got from Hobby Lobby and these are hands down such a great little find from Hobby Lobby. So for my fireplace this is how just kind of minimal and simple I'm going to keep it. For the coffee table I really wanted to complement our L-shaped sectional so I like mixing different fabrics for our living room so I have living in I have velvet I have polyester and now I wanted to just add this really beautiful tufted leather ottoman I love that it still gives you that kind of comfort and I love the brass frame of this ottoman as well I just added a simple decorative bowl with these really cute wooden garland beads just for in the center of the bowl Last but not least is this beautiful Adams armchair from Castlery. I was so excited to get this armchair. It's in this beautiful dove gray color with the black pedestal feet on it. And it's like the perfect transitional chair, I feel like, that just really pulled together our living room. So overall, this is how my living room has turned out. I'm so thrilled with it. And you guys definitely check out Castlery because they have beautiful furniture pieces at really great prices. So anyways, I will link all the info down below so you guys can check it out.